Hello, yes, that's right, it's Joe here for Joyrider TV. And today we're gonna to be looking at rig settings and tuning of the Tornado Catamaran. Okay, so what we can do with the mast on a boat like this is we can pre-bend it so the mast is already got a bend in before we put the sail up. Now, the two things that are gonna influence the pre-bend first one is the diamond wires these wires here and the second one is going to be the spreaders so before we put the diamond wires on and tension them we want to make sure that the spreaders are at the right angle the more backwards the spreaders go the more that's going to push that part of the mast forwards putting bend into the mast so we're going to alter the spreaders depending on the weight of the team. Of course, if you're sailing with a variety of different crew weights, you're going to want to put a standard amount of spreader deflection on to work with many different crew weights. So let's just have a look at how we're going to go about doing that. So on the spreaders, on the Tornado, we've got these bottle screws on the back edge and first thing is we need to make sure they're both exactly the same. We're going to need to be able to measure how far back they are. So what we're going to do is just above each spreader on the wire, we're going to tie a thin line and measure the distance between the back of the mast and that line. Now here I can see that our spreader deflection, the amount the spreaders are back is four and a half centimetres. And the reason it's four and a half centimetres is because when I'm racing Bad Boy 94, I'm racing with a heavy team. I'd call a heavy team anything over 150 kilos. If you're a bit lighter, then you should sail with more spreader deflection, uh, go for six centimetres. If you're between 130 and 160 kilos combined or a general crew weight. And then if you're mega lightweight, so less than 130 kilos, I would set the spread of deflection to seven centimetres. So the distance here, seven centimetres. Then we're going to want to tension the diamond wires. On the Tornado, we do the tensioning of the diamond wires on this bolt at the mast base. So this is a 16 millimetre bolt. Um, you just tension that and that will tension the wires. And when it comes to tensioning wires, we need to introduce what will probably be one of your most useful tools for life. This is a loose gauge. It's a rig tension gauge which measures the tension in any wires. These cost about 150 euros. And to be honest, if you're sailing a boat like a Tornado, you're gonna have this for life. It is worth investing in one of these so that you don't have to guess or borrow one uh, to find out what your rig tension and your diamond wire tension is. You'll get a more accurate reading with the boat back upright but I already know that the tension in my diamond wires is 34. Now this is for light winds because less tension in the diamond wires is gonna put less bend into the mast, giving you a more full sail. So less bend, you get a fuller sail, that's gonna make the sail more powerful. Now, if you haven't got a loose gauge, how can you roughly find out the tension in your diamond wires is we can pull on the main halyard very tight. I'm going to tie that off. Okay, and then we're going to measure the distance between the main halyard very tight and the part of the back edge of the mast where the spreaders are with a spreader deflection of four and a half centimetres, 34 on the diamonds. We then want this distance here 
to be two centimeters at the mast. If we're sailing with a lighter team and we're gonna have more spread of deflection, then with 34 on the diamonds, we're gonna want two and a half centimeters. If we've got six on the spreaders, and then if we're going seven on the spreaders for a light team, we'd be looking at more like three and a half there, uh, the distance between the trailing edge and the halyard. So that's a method to find out how much pre-bend you've got and a method to find out if you're in the right kind of ballpark with your diamond wire tension. Of course, if it's windy, we want more tension in the diamond wires. So we're gonna wind that up to, for a moderate wind, 37. And then for a high wind, we'll wind that up to about 40 with the carbon mast to bend the mast more. That is gonna allow us to get more downhaul on to flatten the sail off and the boat is gonna go much faster, especially upwind. But when we get to that amount of tension, then the distance here is gonna be much greater. So with this small amount of spread of deflection, we're gonna be expecting about four centimeters there and then more if you've got more deflection. Once the pre-bend is set, we're then going to look at our mast rake. So what we need is a method to measure the mast rake. We are gonna need the rig to be reasonably tight to measure the mast rake to get an accurate number. So I would just tighten the rig up until it doesn't physically move anymore. And then what we've done is I've taken one of the trapezes off, off this side. I've tied an extra piece of line to it and then we're just going to take this line and place it on the clevest pin of the bridle wire at the front with everything tight there. And then we're gonna to walk to the back of the boat and we're gonna see where that comes to at the back. So on our boat here, because we're quite heavy, this is actually coming to the corner of the hull if we were a lighter team, we'd have it about an inch down the back, which means further back. So we're putting that on the clevis pin at the front, like that. And then that's coming to the corner. But if you're a lighter team, you'd want it further back. So more like about an inch down the back of the hull. The further back you put the mast, the better that's going to be for the lighter teams. On most tornadoes, the method that we use to alter the mast rake is on this nut here. So if we were already rigged and we wanted to change our mast rake, we'd have to firstly uh, take off the bowsprit, just drop that down and then adjust this nut here. But of course, if we're adjusting the mast rake, then we're going to have to adjust our rig tension afterwards. So making sure that the shrouds are set the same on both sides. So whatever method of adjustment you have uh, is the same. To use the loose gauge, we just pop it in like this. And then with the string, we pull this back. And then for our heavy team, we're sailing with a tension of 26. With a lighter team, you'd want a slightly higher number. So if you're around 150 kilos, you'd want that to be up to 27. And then for a lightweight team, 28 or 29. So quite a common method of adjustment is with a nut here, which you adjust. And it has got calibrated markings on it, so you can check that you have got that the same on both sides. Once you've got everything set, it's always a good idea to tape things up which could either shake loose, get caught on something, or perhaps could risk ripping your spinnaker. And then once you've done that, you're ready to put the sails up and take her out for a burn. 